All right, good morning, everybody, uh, from lovely Tucson, Arizona. It's about seven in the morning, and I just got up and drove down here for some work. Got in here a little early, but I uh, thought it would be a good opportunity to quickly take you through the newest thing that came in, and that is the Bounce Design Labs 3DC. Um, I got this right, like I think I was order number four once their website went live. Um, you used to just be able to get these through like the Facebook group, but they've started their website um, and I came across them uh, based off of another YouTube video, JB Outdoors, um, as an alternative to a boogie bag. Um, I've kind of had my eyes on a boogie bag from Goodworks for a while. They're really hard to come by. Um, a lot of similarities between the Goodworks boogie bag and the Bounce Design Labs 3DC. Um, so I was able to snag this and give it a give it a go. I loaded it up last night, threw it in my bag this morning. I want to take you kind of quickly through it and show you sort of sort of my methodology with it and what I am planning to use it for. So let's go ahead and talk about the Bounce Design Labs 3DC. Okay, so I've never owned a boogie bag, so I'm not going to do a comparison video. So let's just talk about the Bounce Design Labs 3DC. Um, I like it. It's simple. It's easy, efficient. It's The materials are nice. It's got some cool features on it. So let's just sort of take you through it along the outside. Um, I, you know, I don't have the strap on here. The strap comes with it. Uh, I like that the strap is removable because I can actually just throw this in my bag um, and use it as a pouch, which is basically how I'm using it now. And then if I need to, I pull it out and I can throw it on. Um, but it's got um, the Duraflex hardware on it. Um, there's a ton of magnets in this, and I'm surprised, honestly, that the um, that the buckles are not Finlock. I just assumed with all the magnets, that would be a kind of a cool addition. So maybe change that out later. Along the uh, outsides here, you've got a little, little webbing here. So I've just thrown my um, Leatherman in there. Um, you got the same on the other side here with some, you know, pull tabs. So you could throw carabiners or whatever on. Um, these are YKK reverse coil zippers with their own little poles here, these little plastic poles. Um, another thing, again, with the fact that this is kind of this X Pack material, I'm surprised that we didn't get an AquaGuard zipper, which, again, not a, uh, not a knock. I just, it would be kind of a nice feature to have an AquaGuard zipper on here, but otherwise, you've got this gray uh, contrasting color for the zippers. Um, and then, you know, along the front here, this is actually like a silencer. And what I mean by that is this kind of comes off and you've got a patch field here, which is cool. Um, the boogie bag, I think just comes with the, the regular patch field. Um, but the silencer is nice because you can kind of throw it on and, and it's magnetized. Um, so it, it like clicks on like that. If you don't want to rock your patches. Um, I like that I can keep my patches on behind it. And then um, like when I throw it in my bag, so patches don't get like hung up and you can kind of just throw it back on there, get a little bit more discreet. You know, you're not screaming, look at me with all your patches. So I like, I like the silencer. I like that. Um, very cool feature. I like that it's magnetized as well too. So the, the heather gray accents give it a kind of a nice contrast. So all around pretty cool there aesthetically. Um, so really that's the outside of the bag with the exception of, of the back. Okay, so this is a unique feature of the Bounce Design Lab 3DC. So you've got this pocket back here. So you could slide like your passport, you could slide your phone, whatever, and it, it, this is magnetized too. So there's magnets right here. If you've got the bag loaded out like I do, it's pretty tight, but you also have, there's like a internal security compartment in here. So you could throw, again, like, credit card or maybe your ID or whatever in here. And then all the way back, which I can't even get to it, is there's actually a small little, it's basically like right here, a little pocket for your um, your Apple AirTag if you wanted to do that. So I, I have an AirTag on my keys in here, um, so I'm not using that, but it's kind of a cool feature that's hidden. It just takes a little bit of work to get to it and you need to have the bag unloaded to get to it. So, um, front zipper pocket here. Um, this pocket gets pretty tight once you start loading out the main compartment of the bag, but it's it's got some decent volume and dimension. <coughs> Excuse me, I have uh, just some chapstick. I have my uh, MicroStream flashlight and I have a uh, 
small pen, um, which actually the cap came off on, so I need to put that back, um, but a small pen stylus right here. So that all fits nicely. In the front, you could probably, you can fit a phone in here. You can fit an iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max, I believe in here I had, but it was pretty tight. And again, if you load out the bag itself, you're going to impact the carrying capacity of that front zipper. So, all right, let's go ahead and open up the main compartment now. All right, main compartment. Um, You've got a nice orange interior, which is cool. I like that. It does come with a key lanyard. So you've got this plastic one. Again, I, assuming with all the magnets, I just would thought this would be cool to have like either a fidlock or some sort of magnetic, right? But you could also add your own magnetic um, keychain on here. But I just have my um, smart key organizer with my AirTag on here, so that sits in there. Um, and then, hard to see, but on the inside, you do have some organization, right? So there's some pockets all over here. Um, I'm not gonna really kind of get into showing you each pocket. I'm just gonna show you how I've got it loaded out. Um, but there is also a, you can buy an admin pan, pa panel for this that is magnetic that goes in here. I didn't get one just because I my items tend to be a little bit bigger. But in a front pocket, I have like this anchor battery bank. And then I have um, my wallet is in here, so my wallet, and then like some, a charging cord in there. Uh, beyond that, in the main, main compartment, which has got where your most volume is, my Live the Creed pocket trauma kit, my Snake Systems tactical tourniquet, and then I have my earbuds, or my uh, earphones. So that all kind of fits in the main compartment, and then in the zipper pocket behind it, kind of hard to, do with all the stuff in here. Let me take these out. There is a zipper back here, zipper pocket. And back there, I just threw like a mask, but you could throw papers or whatever. Um, it's not fleece lined. Um, you could put like your wallet and stuff. But so again, th this is not meant to carry tons and tons of stuff. As, as indicated by the name 3DC, this is the three liter bag. So um, for rucking, if you want to just kind of use it as a place to keep your admin stuff or your personal items, well, you've got your ruck on, that's great. For me, I like it because it can take all my EDC items. I can throw it in my bag. In fact, I've got my um, 21 liter Go Ruck GR1, uh, GRXC1. I can throw it in there, keeps everything organized. And then if I need to just kind of go slick and I don't want to carry my bag, I can literally pull this out, throw the strap on, Put it on me either crossbody or on my waist and i can go around with just the key everyday items that i need so that's why i like it um, and that's how i'm going to use it so looking forward to giving it some more work seeing the durability of it but overall so far i like it so that's the bounce design labs 3dc uh hope you enjoyed this video found it informative we'll see you next time